Welcome back to the Friday Show. I'm Scott Jagow, along with Ray Pollock. So glad you could join us. It's kind of a special edition of the Friday Show, a Hall of Fame edition, if you will. Ray, this week, 10 nominees announced for the Racing Hall of Fame. Four of those people and or horses will get in. We kind of agree that the first ballot lock Hall of Famers are Zenyatta and Rachel Alexandra. After that, it gets interesting, and it's not always that interesting, Uh, Trainer Steve Asmussen, to start with, he was removed from the ballot two years ago, left off last year because of all the controversy and investigation swirling around him. Should he get in now? In my opinion, not yet. Um, I think he will get in, but it won't be with my vote. Uh, As a result of the PETA undercover video, he was taken off the ballot two years ago, was kept off the ballot last year. Uh, He was found to have violated uh, some medication rules by the New York Gaming Commission as a result of this investigation. And it wasn't the first time. Over his career, he's accumulated numerous medication violations. Not the egregious, you know, performance-enhancing drug type, drugs type of thing, but overages of therapeutic medications. And there's, there's more than a few. I just think that it sends the wrong message to do a first ballot Hall of Fame induction for someone with with that many violations. On the other hand, according to the statistics, uh, there are trainers who are currently in the Hall of Fame who have worse records when it comes to medication violations per start. I, what bugs me the most is, is making this one of the key ingredients to whether he gets in this year or next year. I suppose if you want to make him pay a penance, I don't think he should even be on the ballot if we think that his medication record is that bad that because then I don't think he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Otherwise, I think it should be what happened on the racetrack. I think it's debatable that he's a Hall of Famer. I mean, he has the wins at the highest levels, a few good horses. Uh, I'm not saying he shouldn't get in. I'm just saying it's debatable. But I think that should be the debate and not about the medication violations. Fair enough. All right, let's move on to the jockeys. Who There are four of them. Uh, that includes Victor Espinosa, Ramon Dominguez, um, Garrett Gomez, and Craig Perrette. Of those four, who do you think should get in? Well, my first vote would go for Ramon Dominguez. Uh, he was cut short in the prime of you know in the prime of his career with an injury, had to retire. He was actually put on the ballot uh, earlier than he normally would have been. Ramon uh, may not have the numbers as far as Grade One wins that sort of thing, um, but to me, he has the numbers to, to get in, and um, they were only going to get better if his career hadn't been stopped so so uh, you know so abruptly. Secondly, I'm going to go for Garrett Gomez. Uh, Garrett has the numbers uh, over the course of years, and you know talking about character issues or off the track issues, you know Garrett I think has been kept out of the Hall of Fame because of that, and there's another you know, member of this force from Craig Perrette that has had off the track issues. And I think that's hurt his uh, chances of getting in. They both have the numbers that are, you know, certainly qualified for the Hall of Fame. Yeah. And I hope that voters will uh, finally let Garrett Gomez in. He would be my number one pick, even over Ramon Dominguez, because this is his first ballot. It's Gomez's third ballot. And if you look at the numbers, they're comparable. Uh, Dominguez has about a thousand more wins. However, uh, Breeders' Cup wins, Gomez 13 to 3. Mm. Grade ones, 2 to 1, 80 something to 40 something. So Gomez has the, the numbers to back it up, and I think it's time for him to get in. And both of them, I'm sure, will get in. Maybe both of them will get in this year. What do you think? We've got a couple of polls on our website, pollockreport.com. So share your thoughts with us. That's going to do it for this edition of the Friday Show. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.